Once upon a time, there was a big black dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Dragons are just fairy tales. Odin versus the big black dragon. You just told me that they don't exist. Well, what happened? This isn't the right place, nor the right time. The intro explicitly tells you that there are no black dragons, that there are no dragons at all, in fact. They lied to me! I mean, they've established that pretty much everything exists. You have plenty of gods who exist, you have giants, you have Oni, you have all sorts of things from all sorts of mythologies, but dragons do not exist. Yeah, dragons exist anyway. As we have discovered, a unit has a cost in the upper left corner and a power rating in the lower left corner. The power rating is combined attack and defense as far as I can tell. The keywords I'm going to translate into Hearthstone and magic terms, almost certainly. In Prismata you also have a phase of declaring de defenders, you have that in magic, you don't have that in Hearthstone. A hungry wolf, a 1-2 two for 2. Whoa! I did not deserve that. Um, but a 6 cost? I just get a second legendary. And for the same faction that I'm actually playing. That's ridiculous, that's spoiling me. Odin versus Loki. Of course, an absolute scourge is the fact that most units have such low durability. If they have a durability of two, then the attack is abysmally low on the power. It's, it's terrible. Starts of the opponent gets, gets the fresh recruit. Let's summon... Can I really defend in the turn the unit is summoned? Probably, presumably not. Summon the Axeman. And pass. Death Star do nothing. Wow. Enter the battlefield right now. Yeah, why the hell not? And give this guy endurance. Yes, awesome. That's the way. You attack those temples to give your units interest. Now, granted, um, he's not getting any benefits from him from my god being on the pedestal, but then again, he wouldn't anyway because I don't have enough units doing that. All right. I'm finally, getting the hang of this. I need to defend, but this guy cannot defend. Oh, so he's going to get the benefit. Dang it! No defense. Though. Can't emote while the god is on the battlefield. I mean, um... Tempted to play the Shield Maiden, but no. Well, perhaps yes? Actually, no. Full speed ahead. 
Attack! More endurance on that guy. Take it as a stupid power. No! Don't make this skeleton helpless. Oh no, the field raiders are helpless. Negative one <laughs> at this point. Oh, whoa, whoa, Loki, whoa, no. <clears throat> huh. Well, this is a sort of scenario where I do not feel like reducing things makes any sense whatsoever. Let him have it. Also, that's going to destroy a lot of stuff on his side of the board. Whoa! He feels, instead of going to a graveyard removed from game. Well, thank goodness. Can boost him up to zero, that makes no sense. They don't show the clock, so that's what happens. He did what? Oh no, not helpless again. Well, that was utterly pointless, wasn't it? <clears throat> well, not utterly pointless, they get buffed quite a bit. <clears throat> the Axe Nado makes sense in this context, I think. Guys are the whopping one at this point. Haldra. Yeah, I can't defend with this guy, unfortunately. Which means that whatever damage he does, deal. It is gonna get dealt. No defenders because none can be declared. It's more endurance than the fresh recruit, it's so useless.
Yeah, go ahead and attack. Let's see if he wants to destroy his units to defend. Yep. One point. All right, five points. Could defend that, but I'd rather let his stuff die. And let my live. Not gonna be enough. Temple destroyed, victory achieved. Odin versus Hachimon. So if they could attack more than one time per minion, it would be an absolute pandemonium. Why do you put the condition after the statement? It's not how you ought to do it. Yep, yeah, that ought to be enough. And of course you can put the guard onto the board immediately, but then first of all you have the guard on the board and secondly you haven't developed the board. It has its own downsides. <clears throat> can the clear one defend? Oh my goodness, challenge. I understand what challenge is now. It's quite intuitive. Do I block? Let's have to block with everything. Yeah, let's block with it. Oh boy. Again, they have to move in the middle. Oh no. Swap endurance? You back and echo you. Oh, you. Oh, you're attacking with more units, eh? Die, peasant. Actually, there's no difference because at this point there's just one once, but I'm going to defend with the peasant anyway. Die! <clears throat> That's precisely the thing about losing endurance. That's what happens. Sneaky Goblin is the way to go.
I summon him during the defense phase, though. If at all. <clears throat> Not summoning the god. Yeah, they have a pretty decent plan here. Reinforcement goblin. I can't stop that. I guess unit what? Loses 2 power, strongest unit gains 2 power. But that changes nothing! Yeah, lack of this E. Well! It's not like blocking makes a huge deal of sense here. Yeah? I'm going to summon the sneaky goblin anyway. And I'm not going to defend. Now it's time to summon the seductive Hildre. No, two or less power. Read vest. Read. Summon the god. <clears throat> Might as well attack. Let's see what happens. This can, this can get defended and then my god can get attacked. But... Shield mating is to defend quite a bit. It's promising. Priest of the sun. Priests of the sun. Plus one power. Oh no. Everything with traits. Backing the temple. <clears throat> I'm gonna destroy the priest with the Hildra. Defending. There we go. Can't do anything else for now. That's okay. Just three. <clears throat> but I can defend against that fully. All right, and now. I can summon the raider. And the, yeah, I won't be able to summon the goblin then. And I probably will let a single shrine fall, but that's okay. At least I've developed a board. <clears throat> oh, no. Stole my power! Yeah, you go ahead and attack that. I'm just going to refuse to defend. The ones. <clears throat> right. Summon another raider. The burst layout. Now if these guys attack. That 
gets destroyed, the guy gets more endurance, and they get buffed. Excellent. Six attack. Eleven attack against what? Against that. Doesn't seem to be much of a point in defending that. That's plenty of a kill. Um, you can have it. And two of your minions die. Raid sounds them. Yeah, yeah, let's summon all of these. Oh, can summon the leprechaun? Of course, I cannot. They're going to deal so much damage. Um, it's going to be fall. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Fine, not attacking with this guy. What are you gonna do? He's gonna get destroyed, excellent, so he's gonna get buffed. Oh no. Oh, you want to destroy that? I'm only going to stop you with the shield maiden then. Thirteen plus eight is how much? How overwhelming. Fine, let's just attack with the god. This is happening. And you die! Because Fenrir is awesome. I mean, I could defend. What? Hey, I can What the hell happened? uses up his endurance, thankfully. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just use up his endurance by forcing him to defend. Oof. No, stop exhausting my sheep. Stop exhausting my sheep. Die, sheep. No! <laughs> oh, 
Freya versus Loki. All right. Starts out a really expensive card, and we're off to the race. Bane, shield Bane, and bam! Just like that, I have Bold Presence. Well, you could do that, yes, fine. I'm going to summon the young Bullslip in response. Playing Loki. Why would you ever play Loki? And Loki's on the ball, ladies and gentlemen. I want to buff the fresh recruit, do I? Give him a card and all that? <coughs> I don't think I do. Now mead could help. Because then if this guy dies... Let's just summon a shield maiden instead. But Mead could definitely help. Now oh, Loki, stop it! Yeah, I'm going to use Mead on her later on. Well, actually, soon enough. Gain more endurance. Oh no. It's the right color. <clears throat> but I can always defend with the shield maidens, right? It's not the fault. The giants make a great deal of sense. Summon the giants. And attack with the dreadwalker. Down you go, lady! But in death, you shall aid me. <clears throat> Could summon the Dark Paladin. Probably should, because the alternative is to just debuff units, some of these weaklings. Oh, 
Let's attack again. Air the Benevolent. A fox will be put onto the board. And a friendly non spirit dies, and of course, the thrill gets our spirits. <clears throat> now I could defend, but um, I think it's better to just attack. Fine, let him destroy that. I don't care much about the three. Minutes. Yeah, bless this guy. Have him attack. Alongside the Dark Paladin? Hold on. Um, 3, 7, 10 in total. Can't block everything. The leprechaun. That's her. Skeleton buffed her. The leprechaun got buffed by my god. Five. Well, that's easy to deal with. That's just the unit that exclusively defends, I guess. Alongside the leprechaun. The bigger stuff, I will say, for better things. First of all, praise the sun. Summon her to attack. Will it debuff both? Yeah, for that. Forty. But I'll get it. It's three. And the rest is four in tall. So it's seven. The thing still dies. Yep, that's seven. Victory has been achieved with Freya's deck. Awesome. Freya versus Odin. Oh, the name. So plenty of cheap stuff. Second, here's the cost impling. Not gonna work on me. <clears throat> Buffing this guy is not what I want to do, but it's what I have to do. Could have just summoned my god, but I'd rather play the rep leprechaun. I want to have something on the board. <clears throat> really? Hmm. 
be that way. If he attacks the middle temple, I'm going to be... Well, I'm going to be in a decent spot. So he won't. Just to buff that imp. All right, then. No defenders. Six attack leprechaun is a possibility. <clears throat> Actually, I should summon this guy and then increase, increase his power. Oh, jolly. Now, will you block the leprechaun? <clears throat> or will you not? You only have one minion to block with. This guy can attack some more. Oh goodness. This is going to be glorious if actually I'm doing this. Will I do this? Um, mead? Um, so that's so, so eight. It's going to get buffed some more. Why not? Of course. And his endurance to one. Uh, yeah, I probably don't want to do that. Probably want to do that in the leprechaun. <clears throat> More power to you. Attack the middle one. Kill his minions and all that. Yeah, let's do this. Let's attack the right one. Get more attacks. That dwarf, the Dwarven King, is incredibly monstrously buffed right now. Look at this. Uh, yeah, he still has enough. Got plenty. He is absolutely able to wipe the floor with you. <clears throat> All right, can't play anything because things in my hand are too big. I probably ought to keep this guy to defend, but actually, I'm going to summon my god. Force him to defend. Well, alternatively, just destroy his middle temple and kill a minion anyway. Yep, minion dies. No raiding. It's only a man crusher. Yeah, I'm just going to defend with the fresh recruit. Not so fresh anymore, but he'll do. Elena. He's got nine, he's got eleven defense. Do I sacrifice the Dwarven King? Yeah, I probably do. It's not like he's going to regain endurance. Let's do this. And Elena is going to get buffed. Terrific. More attack. 
<laughs> Both endurance. <clears throat> Oh, you're leading seven now. I could block that, I could block all of it. But you know what? I would rather attack. Because I will attack and you don't want that. Here's a selective holder. Attack! Forcing him to block. It's got 10 blocking power. It's gonna sacrifice one point of endurance. And the infling. The rest of the damage goes down. Hildra gets the buff. Okay, fine. Do I just let him destroy that? <clears throat> Let's block all the damage with uh, Alina, I guess. She's got the endurance. Ooh, the rune ball bell is tempting to play. But I think it would be wiser to play the Bell Slayer. Then eliminate this guy because he buffs. And attack! You'll be forced to defend. Dying units are going to buff my other units. And everything will turn up. Turn out just fine. Got a single card. Let's declare defenders. Oh my, that's awesome! That's absolutely brilliant! Look at this! Down you go. I mean, yes. That's six in total as far as defense is concerned. Six damage goes through, and that has two. It's not enough. Victory has been achieved yet again. The stack is awesome. Mostly because I got the necessary legendaries to make it awesome. Oh, please. Find me a worthy opponent. Freya! Versus Ares. Playing against the Greeks here. Can't remember his hero power though. Praise the sun. That's 13. Deal with it. I'm um, sorry, that's just four. I win. Victory yet again. That's too powerful. Cannot be stopped. Freya versus Poseidon. Ooh. Greeks yet again. What an encounter. Um, don't want Fenrir in my opening hand. It's awesome as she is. The Leprechaun isn't the best um, than one unit, but... Um, It's actually pretty terrible, but 
Hey, I guess I'm going to play him if there's nothing else to play. Oh, you know, I could just not. Cancel! No! Oh, thank goodness. Why can't I put her on the board? On turn 3. Yeah, fine. Fine, I'll do nothing this turn. <clears throat> Gotta mulligan those leprechauns. Yeah, I might just lose this one. the most expensive enemy unit, oh my goodness. So if he summons cheap units, then uh, then expensive units on my side get exhausted. Um, really? You want to do that? Fine, I'll exhaust my burst layer then. He's got three attack now. Sino will just be busy exhausting my Oh my goodness, really? What is it now? Okay, if that's what you want. You're wasting your time though, buddy. Treading water. Ah, oh, the neck is pointless, yeah. So, so utterly pointless. Summoner. I'm going for the left temple. Defend if you can. Summon the cheap minion the fall. Disable my strongest one. Of course, he's going to attack my god. But you know what? She can take it. Fine. I like the temple on the left. He allows it. We said all units on endurance, which is terrible. Exhaust two of my units. He's gonna attack for fall. Fine, declaring no defense. Things get buffed! Thankfully I have the holder, oh no! Playing this guy. Then I'm going to buff him and neck him. Steal one power from it, that's terrible. <clears throat> Buff him. Mm. 
Knack her. <clears throat> Twelve. So we can block for how much? Nine. Yeah, let's get rid of some of his units. Why not? Shoes on the other foot. Oh, he's fine with it. Well, pick a unit you want to die then. The Amazon can't attack. Should have attacked with this guy, would have been one more point of them. Actually, that doesn't matter. <laughs> because I might as well meet him. So, Hildra... I should probably meet her. Yeah, why not? Raglan, side this guy. Buff the neck. The damage goes through. This guy gets buffed. She gets resilience. I mean, not resilience, whatever. Someone here. Exhaust. Power 3 or less, yes. When this unit wins an attack, exhaust the weakest enemy flank unit here. Yeah. He's attacking for fall. Excellent, gives me an opportunity to sacrifice my Hildra. For the greater good. Which buffs my Leprechaun even more. <clears throat> Poor old giant? Oh, you know, I could just Fenrir. But I think, yeah, it's, it's better for, to summon the giant and the well-equipped guy. Six, and he's got, um, ah, to hell with it. Left one. Deal with it. Goes through, destroyed. That dies, so we buff this guy, he gets buffed from the temple, and he's a 5-2 all of a sudden. Oh, attacking for fall, impressive. Anything else? Eight. Locking. Fenrir. Praise the sun. Um, so it's seven, nine, well, it's stuck at a temple. What is he gonna do? Well, defend with everything, predictably enough, but that's not going to be enough. That's just nine. No, oh, that's eleven. That's still not enough. I need to block every single point because that gives me victory.
Draft unlocked. Excellent. That's what I was looking for. Third legendary. <laughs> Same class. Let's go with Hachiman. Wow. I did not really take that possibility into account. Of course, there are only two tickets. And people are unlikely to buy them. And the population in this game is going to be abysmally low. Especially periodically. So the odds of me actually finding a match are dreadfully low. Shouldn't have done that to myself. Funny. The entire draft might have been in vain. Oh well. <laughs>